Hello everyone, welcome to Route to Mathematics. In this video, we're going to solve this geometric question. So here we have given a triangle and here we are asked to find the value of this length x centimeter. Okay, so first of all, you can see the triangle and we have given the base degrees are a degree and a degree and here we have given two a degrees. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to, I'm going to apply a theorem that is the sum of all the three interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So here we have given the three triangles angle that is 8 degree, 8 degree and 2 8 degree. So according to the theorem, we can write A plus A plus 2A must be equals to 180 degree. So this implies this. Here we have 4A equals to 180 degree and here we have A equals to 45 so this two angle become 45 degrees and this angle we have 2a which is equals to 2 multiplied with 45 this will become 90 degrees now if i put a as 45 degrees and and 2a as 90 degrees the shape of this triangle can be changed into like this like a right angle triangle let's name this point as a b and c okay so what are asked to find? We are asked to find the length of AB that is X. Okay. And we have already given BC as 5 cm. As you can see that the base angles are equal that is 45 degree and here is the 45 degree. So applying a theorem that is the angle opposite to equal sides of an isolated triangles are equal in measures. But here you can say that just vice versa is here. That is angle opposites are same. So we can write as the angles are same. The sides must be concurrent. So this can be 5 cm. Okay. So we found AC as 5 cm. And BC as 5 cm. And here we are asked to find the AB. As you can see that. C is 90 degree, angle C is 90 degree which is a right angle triangle. So we can simply apply the Pythagoras theorem in order to find the value of X. Okay, so according to the Pythagoras theorem, AB square equals to BC square plus AC square. AB square is nothing but X square and BC square is 5 square, AC square is also 5 square. So, x square equals to 2 multiplied with 5 square. Now, taking square root both the side, we have x equals to 5 root 2, which is our answer. I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and click the like button for more such interesting videos. Thank you.